Well, it's me, Brian, with the wild interview. This morning, right, I remember, I wanted some coffee. Turn off the flashlight. All right? And I, you know, yeah, I got the, I got the jar of the, you know, Folgers Instant. All right? But I kind of burned out on that. You know, Instant's all right, but, you know, it's Instant. And then I remembered, and said, and I had this. All right? Oops, and turned the right way. 230 West. This is a breakfast, breakfast blend, 100% Arabica specialty grade, regular, you know, regular roast. That's he's got, you know, two dots. Now, this was a complimentary pack, coffee pack I got when I stayed over at the, um, at the, at the, one of Paris Hilton's hotels, you know, a couple weeks ago. All right, and I'm like, yeah, that should, you know, I got that stuff. Let's hook it up. All right, well, I've been, you know, searching around in the food box and what's left of it. I can't find the little bit of sugar I got, so we're just gonna have to drink it straight. That's the best way to taste coffee anyway. So, what is, what, what you got, Brian? This is what I got. I got my, uh, you know, my Starfleet Command Collector's Cup, $64, eBay. No shit, genuine. Anybody wanna buy it? You know, send me a message. Genuine. Right, right cup. I looked it up myself and did all the research. Spent four hours. Genuine. Right? Starfleet Command. James T. Kirk probably drank out of this cup. At least Mr. Spock did. Anyway. So what you got is, you, and you get this little, you know, filter pack. Now it's just says you know, on wrong, you know, this side up. It's already ground, you know, pre-measured for one cup, right? You put it down there in the you know, bottom of your Starfleet command, right? And you got the water over here, you know, going away on the old hot plate. All right, yeah, I, I have brewed, you know, millions of cups of coffee. Aeropress, French press, you know what I'm saying? Squeezer press, cowboy brew, right? pour over, chemtrex, let's see, uh, old style coffee pot, mocha pot, um, espresso, espresso cube, me espresso. Hell, I invented a couple of, you know, crazy little inventions that squeeze coffee out of, you know, beans. Alright, so, I'm kind of like an expert. Alright, so, yeah, let me give you some expert advice. The best temperature for brewing coffee is between 194 and 201 degrees. So, I got my water right here. So, I don't have the temperature gauge, but... You know, over the years I have learned to gauge, you know what I'm saying, by the, you know, the rate of the bubbles and how they're expanding, you know what I'm saying, when it's right about the right temperature. And it's right about the right temperature. So, pour some over the, you know, coffee filter. See that, you know, a little bit of steam, but not a whole lot. Mm -hmm. All right. Let me just let that steep for a couple of minutes. Now, this here 230 West brand stuff, I looked them up on the phone, and they're a pretty cool little brewing company, you know what I'm saying? Right? Oh, yeah, it's just the registry. More than Paris Hilton's, you know, upscale joint. Right? Um, that is, you know, fair trade oriented, right? You know, they, they, they you know, cut the farmers off, you know, their slice. Right, you know, see before they, you know, take their end and, you know, roast the beans and all that stuff, and, right, hook it all up, make it good, right, so, you know, I, we're going to find out right now, just how, you know, good this stuff really is. If it straightens my hair back out, you'll know, huh? <laughs> Whoa, I'm going to gag myself. But anyways, I mean, you know, it would be, it would have been nice to find that, you know, little bit of sugar. But, right there, I just poke it a few times with the old spoon. Dunk her down there, squeeze it flat. 
This is a breakfast, this is a breakfast blend, so it's gonna be kind of light. Dude, I broke the bag. It just ain't going right for me today so far. Oh well. Cowboy brew it is. Anyways. Got a little bit of cream. Smells like no good coffee. Here. Cheerios. Oh, it's kind of hot still. That's definitely you know breakfast blend. It's pretty light, but you know it's got a good color to it. You know, tastes like you know real good arabica. Arabica is you know like that's the bigger of the two beans. There's two different kinds of coffee beans. There's you know the arabica and then the South American. But, you know, some people refer to it as the Dutch bean, because it was the one that the Dutch cultivated over there in the, you know, in the West Indies when they first started coming over here towards America land, you know, back in the, you know, 1600s and stuff. Right, so, you know, it, it's kind of like a toss-up between it was the Dutch and it was this old Arab dude, you know, Sam, over there in, you know, Hajistan or some ass place, right? Um, you know, I think it was like Samaria. Back in the old, you know, old days, that uh, you know, he, he noticed that his goats were, you know, all wired up and jumping all around out in the fields. You know what I'm saying? He couldn't figure out what the hell, what, what was going on. So you know, he hung out for a day or two and he watched them. You know, the old billy goat, see what the heck was going on, right? And then after a while, old Billy, right, he kind of charted down to where the bushes were. You know, they had these, you know, red beans on them. You know what I'm saying? And he started chomping down a few and you know, oh, you know, goat herder dude, he's like, what the hell's Billy doing? So he wandered down there to where old Billy was, he pinched one off of the bush and he snipped it, you know, and chomped it down a little bit, kind of bitter. He's like, man, this is rough, what the fuck? What the hell's wrong with you, Billy Goat? But then all of a sudden, Billy Goat jumped up, started running all around in the field, you know what I'm saying? You know, mooing and, you know, doing what Billy Goats do and farting and all that stuff. And, you know, a couple of the Billy Goat chicks, they, they ran over to the berry bush and they ate a few berries, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, one or two of the Billy Goat kids, you know what I'm saying? They swallowed down one or two. So, you know, go her to do Bill. You know, he popped a few more in his mouth and before you know it, they all jumping around in the field. And dude's like, man, I got something going here. So he pinched a bunch off, put them in his, you know, tuning pocket, right? Wandered down the hillside back to town. You see him go talk to the old lady. He told her when he got there, he said, hey, go look what I found. He said, what do you think you can do with this? Well, she looked at him like he was crazy. So, but she always looked at him like he was crazy. She thought about it for a while. She said, well, I don't know. Let's this, you know, the last time you brought some beans and some berries, you made something to drink out of, and it was really good. Let's just grind this one up and see what it does. So she did. The next morning, it's all history, bro. Oh yeah, that that's that's smooth. That's easy going right there. So anyway, so it's like a toss-up, you know, historically, you know, historically speaking, right? It's like a toss-up between the Dutch, you know what I'm saying, who discovered the coffee bean bush, and, you know, it's over there in, you know, right, Hodgestan, kind of, you know, a little suspect right there, and, you know, go herder dude, and, you know, red berry bush. Right? So, I mean, me personally, I mean, I give credit to both sides. Both of them, you know, they, they found something cool, it's really good, you know what I'm saying? It gives you a little bit of, you know, energy in the morning, you get ready to go to work, right? It's always, you know, coffee's always good. I mean, like, you know, I, I grew up with my mom. My mom, she drink coffee any time of the day or night. I mean, she always was a part of coffee brewing in my mom's kitchen, right? And then I'd sit there and drink with her, right? Maybe four or five cups in a row. No, that's all. You know, I'm a natural born coffee drinker. 
Right? Get you some. Get you some Mr. 230 West stuff. I don't know where they sell it at. They said, I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure you could find it somewhere on the line. You know, if you have to, send an email to Paris. I'm pretty sure she'll hook you up. This me, Brian. Starfleet Command. Hey, -o. Heck yeah.